Uh, my name is Matthew Moreno. I'm the owner of Imperial Barbershop located at 3202 Sweet I-2 Marina Bay Drive in Kima, Texas. I'm 25 years old. Come check out my barbershop. So how long you been uh, like cutting hair? Um, I mean, not per se going to school, but when did you get inspired? Like what age? I come from a family of hairstylists. My mom, I got a few aunts and uncles that cut hair, but they're geared more towards women. I started when I was 12 years old. Uh, my mom always wanted to try the new trends out and stuff. I remember in fifth grade, I went to school with frosty tips. Man, I hated it. All the kids made fun of me and stuff, you know? So I went home that day and I just shaved it all off. I wanted to cut my own hair. So I wanted to wear a fade like everybody else. So I started to fade myself up at 12 years old and went to school the next day. A lot of my friends liked it. So they started asking me for haircuts. I started cutting their hair and it just went off from there. So what age is that? 12 years old. 12? 12 years old. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. I didn't know that. Yeah, I remember going to school with a shaved head, man. Straight with the razor because I messed up so bad. But I rocked it, you know. <laughs> it's all part of learning. It's a learning curve, you know. Yeah, it's, it is a learning experience. Like yeah. basically, people start at a young age, and I mean, you gotta start messing up. Yeah, you gotta mess up somewhere. Start messing up. I mean, Definitely. That's just like a baby crawling before they walk. You know. Right. At what age or what time period of your life did you start thinking of owning your own barbershop? So I've always been a driven person, a motivated person. I've always wanted to have my own business. I just wasn't sure what business. Um, I didn't really start taking barbering serious until about my first year into it. Uh, so probably about three years ago, when I had my first job at Lou's Barbershop. Um, I was cutting hair. I didn't think I was worthy of the clientele that I was having. Started build, building clientele, and that's when I saw, man, hey, I'm good at this. Maybe I should keep it up. So I kept it up and then I started building more and more and then finally we're here today, you know, with the barbershop and uh, yeah. yeah, I've been through a lot in life, you know, um, as a juvenile, uh, multiple felonies, been in and out of the juvenile system, 17 years old, you know, I got charged with my felonies as an adult. I didn't really think I was going to turn this around, 10 years probation, I my father passed away in front of my face when I was 16 years old, found him dead. I didn't think any of this was going to be able to happen to me. I just worked hard, I knew what I wanted. And I just, every day I woke up, I said, okay, what is the next step I need to take to get closer to my dream? And I just started working on it, man. That's dope. That's, that's definitely inspiring. Uh, coming from a young guy to another young guy. Right. So it's like, you want to inspire others. Um, not just doing barber, you know, but right. inspire others to live and be determined on their dream. The barbering saved my life, man. I mean, like I said, I really didn't think of this as me going in and owning up my own shop. I just wanted to cut hair. I thought it was fun. It was a hobby. I took my clippers and my backpack to school, you know. It was just a hobby for me. So for this to happen and me uh, taking this serious, I'm serious with you. I'm professional. This is all I do. I breathe. I wake up. This is, it's just barbering, man. That's it. Check out my boy Matt, man. He uh, he does wonders for sure. Uh, thank y'all for watching the video. I uh, hope y'all learned a lot. My boy Matt, y'all come check us out. Imperial Barbershop.